Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House, and we're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny, and we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Okay, I'm back with that little mini-series on the Junk Journal Studio ephemera holder, and this would be the last of the mini-series, but it won't be the last that you see this ephemera holder because I'll be using it throughout. But just to show you, uh, so what we've done is we decoupaged um, using the, the background, all this beautiful background that you can see poking, well, poking through. Um, that is all from the freebies from uh, All Things Roses. If you go and you can either search the hashtag All Things Roses or you can go to my description box from this video or the previous videos for this series and click the either the three little dots, the more or the down arrow um, and expand it and then you'll see the digital the freebie in that. For me, um, I have freebies and there's 52, 52 total. So there's other design team members and I've listed all of their YouTube channels and you can go into their YouTube channels and get their freebie. It's in their description box. So 52 in all. So, okay, so we did that. And then this is also, these are also from the freebie. And then what I did was I just, um, decoupaged them with uh, some Mod Podge and then I just sewed around the edge just for my own security knowing that it's good and and, and secure <laughs> to make a nice thick cover. I did use two envelopes, two large envelopes, inserted them, um, overlapped them where their flaps were and then I thought well I kind of want it to be a little bit thicker you could use cardboard or the uh, maybe a cereal box or something like that. I just cut down slightly a quarter of an inch another of the big envelopes and slid it inside each other. It made a nice thick cover. Um, then what we did is we took some file folders. These are just ones I got at a thrift store and I had sewn them together so you can go and watch that and then bound them with some fabric and then I reinforced it with some more fabric so you'll see that here so so far so good so far so good so now I want to start putting some pockets in um and I'm primarily I think okay I had to think this through because uh I'm going to be stacking some little ones and then I want some big ones pockets. So I'm trying to think through which side do I want the littles and which side do I want the bigs. Um, at first I thought I wanted the bigs on this side, but now that I'm opening it, the, let's see, which one has a, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to matter. I think I'm going to do the, the bigger ones on this side and the littler ones on this side. Anyways, we'll see what happens. So to do that, I did, I took some of the freebies again, all things roses, the freebies, and I copied some of them on cardstock to make nice pockets for larger ephemera. Uh, I prefer to have things that you can see through. So we'll also be using some envelopes and we'll be using some vellum. I hope that's open. Yeah. There's such a stinker to, for me to open. So we'll use some vellum that, um, the paper studio, I think I got that. That must be at Hobby Lobby. So yeah, I'm going to set that over here on my, on my nifty little pull out. And then, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I wanted to start with this one. Uh, where's my cutter? And <clears throat> I'm playing it by ear. So sometimes I, I'm not going to fill this up with pockets right away because, because sometimes, well, one, I, I just don't have the patience, but also because there are times where you'll have different things that you want to put in and you're, you kind of almost feel like you need a specific pocket for it. 
So for this, what I want to do is cut this on an angle that's a little long, but I still think I can maybe get it. So I'm going to do that. Eh, not too far off. It's okay. And then I'm just going to, let me just use my scissors for the rest of that. <clears throat> Still battling the allergies, taking allergy medicine like nobody's business. It's so nice here. It's almost, it's almost 70 degrees today or going to be. So it's very, very nice. Okay, I'm going to just slide that up there. All right, I'm going to skip this first page. Not sure what I want to do with that or the inside cover. But I know I want to put a large pocket to... I think I cut that wrong. I really wanted it to cover that. So let's, let's save these two. Let's see if we can do another one. Why why wouldn't that work? What's the deal? Short. It seems like it should be very simple, but it's not coming to me. But let's try another one. Um, this one's pretty. I t I wanted to do one of the blues. Okay, so I need to cut it from this corner to this corner. So what I might do is, oh no, where did I do my ruler? <laughs> there it is. Get my nifty ruler out and see if I can. Oops. Draw a line. I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to cut it with my scissors because I, I really would like it straight. <laughs> and I don't think that's going to happen if I cut it with scissors that long of a, of a shot. But let's see what happens here. Might be able to do a little bit of it. So I'm just going to line that. I have a little um, wire in there. And I'm just going to line that up to, to the mark to try to make it pretty even. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's put that back over there. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's more really what I what I was hoping for. I'll move it up just a smidgey. May have to cut that tail off at the bottom. But um yeah, that's what I wanted and I think I'm going to notch it. Just for easy access. I set that over here. I might need it again. Okay. And then I usually like to just edge when I am making little pockets or whatever in my a Fenmore holder, especially because a lot of times the background needs, you know, you need it to be able to see the background. Uh, but this isn't too bad. So, because I'm not using my icky, well, it's not really icky, it's just not pretty a scrapbook paper. A lot of times I'll do, that's what I'll use. So I'm just going to do a thin line. You could also sew this in, I think, if you did it ahead of time. 
Look at me, I cannot get a straight. Yeah, it's really nice out, so pretty, but I am freezing to death. I brought my cup of coffee in. I'm absolutely freezing to death today. Mainly my hands. I am going to put that down kind of low because I would like to be able to put a full page in there if I, if I wanted to. You know, sometimes we don't get our our fussy cutting done. Oh no, I ran out of paper towels. We don't get our fussy cutting done. Um, or like me, I fussy cut what I need and then I still have some left. And so you could put that in that pocket. So that's nice. Okay. While that's drying, why don't we go ahead and do some over here. And I'm going to do those out of vellum. You could do them out of anything. I like the weight of vellum and I like the that you can kind of see through it a little bit. <clears throat> so it's eight and a half by eleven. Eight and a half is just a little too long because I've rolled it over. So I'm gonna take off a half an inch, three quarters of an inch maybe. But I'm gonna have to do that with this. about right there I might save that sometimes I use those teeny tiny ones for itsy bitsy teeny weeny ephemera okay let's see here I think that'll work for the most part and then I'm gonna just use this just a little bit easier to maneuver and I'm gonna go I kind of like two and a half for larger ephemera, and I like, so let's do a couple of two and a halves, and then I'm going to go probably maybe two, a couple of twosies. And since the page is so wide, um, I kind of feel like, think, think about if you have a bunch of little pieces all in here, the wider it is, the less pressure you have in the middle to hold them down. So my thought is, is maybe to glue down the center as well of each one. And then that will help to hold some of the larger. Well, maybe we'll just do one, the big one here. Maybe we'll do it without doing in the middle, but then the smaller ones we'll do maybe by the middle. Oh, I have two large ones. Yeah. So do All right, let's see. I'm going to notch these as well. Oh, that didn't work very well. Just grabbing some little baby scissors to help me. And then, like I said, I'm going to just edge it a little bit. I'm using black right now, but I also brought my pink. Just for kicks. We'll see if I try it on another page. 
Okay, let's get those down and then we'll work on the other ones. Okay. So since this page flips up, I, that was my concern on trying to decide if I wanted a big thing there or a big pocket or these little pockets. Because uh, as you're working, you know, you don't want that page flipping up and all of your ephemera flipping out. Yeah, this is not the day to have forgotten to bring the, to stock my paper towels. I have found with vel this vellum and um, working just on paper like cardstock like this that this glue works just fine. Okay, so that's a big one. This is going to be, you know something that's like two to three inches tall so I think I will go ahead and put another one and then you know because when I think about like all things roses that kit some of the ephemera is a little tall Oops. All right. <laughs> I probably won't get all three of these on here, but might need to cut another one down. Um, here it is. Where is some scratch paper? Here's some. I went into the office today to print some more of these freebies so that I could make pockets. And <clears throat> I heard this me like that and in the past that has meant that our sump pump is whining and uh, you know there was a time where something I don't even know what happened I don't know anything about it but it was stuck on and there was no water to process so it had this whine so I called Joey he was in a meeting <laughs> And I was like, oh, just real quick, I just want to tell you. Because what happens is if I don't tell right away, I forget. And I'm not studious enough, I guess, administratively enough to make a note to like a tell Joey when he gets home list. I should probably do that. <laughs> I should probably start that. Um, so anyways, I'm like, oh, just really quick. I think, oh, I forgot I was going to cut that down. I think the um, sump pump is whining. And he's like, okay, I'll check it when I get home. I mean, like, what is he going to do while he's at work, you know? Oh my gosh. But I knew, I said, I'm sorry. I just know I'm going to forget to tell you. So um, he was like, that's really odd. It shouldn't be doing that. I don't know why it would do that. Well, we haven't had rain in a week. He's like, I don't know why it would be doing that. So anyways, kept going and going and going. And then it sounded farther away. And I looked and it was, it was just a neighbor weed eating. <laughs> we have one neighbor that is close enough to see. And he was out weed eating today. Must have had the day off. So, crisis averted. So I text him and said, never mind. It's our neighbor weed eating. Okay. 
can I fit another one without stuff falling out on the top? So I think I'll save these two and use this other one. And I'm just going to cut uh, oh, I like that. maybe inch and a half. Inch and a half. Okay. And about right there. I can make a little mark because it's vellum. scratch paper again oh you know what I forgot mm hmm I forgot to go down the middle I got too busy yakking I was gonna go down the middle of each of them to kind of make it a little bit stronger I guess I could sneak it in there but then my plan, my plan, hear that all the time, was to make two little thumb holes, like one on each side. But maybe on the next page. Okay, so this one, let's go ahead since it is going to have smalls. Do it right down the middle. Not too far up as to not allow them to hopefully fall out. Mm -hmm. Oopsie. I think the big ones will be okay. But I think I am going to try to sneak some glue down in that one. Ooh, that's a lot of glue. Okay. And then, um, you know, I have this little piece. And what I like to do with that is to go along the bottom of one that's not right up top. And put teensy tinesies in there. Every once in a while, you'll get a really little... really really little piece <clears throat> or you'll create a little piece and you want to save it that's uh, sometimes what happens with me but like uh, some of the labels different label dig digitals that are labels will have really little little uh, I think all things red Labels have some really little ones, so they would go good in something like that. And so I think what I'm going to do with this one, put it down here, and I think I'm going to divide it into thirds. Ish. That'll work. Okay. All right. 
just going to smash in the glue into my hands. <laughs> Okay, let's, I'm going to just pop that lid on there for a minute while I think here and um, save that, probably might use it, I don't know. Oopsie, I'm just going to tidy up for a second because I want to kind of, I want to grab some of the ephemera and just check it out. Grab some of the ephemera and just check it out. Okay, here's some of the ephemera. But I also want to check out that page. I mean that big pocket. So I'm grabbing behind me, trying not to avalanche the whole situation. Uh, I'm looking, looking, looking. I know I have it in here. I know I have a million in here. Okay. Well, let's just pull this out. Okay, so this is an example. So now... Uh-oh. What happened? I could put that in there. That's a little big. It's a full page, but I have some half pages somewhere. Oh, like here. So like this, I haven't, I made duplicates, and so I've cut one and part of it out, so I can put this one in. And it reminds me, oh, I still have more, I just haven't cut them all. Okay. And then, we can put some of these in. So here's some of the tea cards. This is from the All Things roses oh that's pretty isn't it they're all pretty I'll put the ladies over here for now okay love that too can't tell all those look like little daisies or something. I thought maybe they were white lilacs. Lilacs are my very favorite flower. Okay. And then here's some other large, larger ephemera. So those would go nicely there. Kind of help protect them. You can see I duplicated because there were so many I loved. Okay. All right, so you kind of get the idea. Here's some smalls. Maybe we'll put these up here. Oh, that's that's a, that's one's connected, I forgot. These will be too big for that. And then, you know, we'll just keep going on and on and on and we'll add and add and add. But this one reminds me, see how that's flipping like that uh, because it's so tall. Um, so let me make, make a, what am I trying to say? Let me make a pocket for that and show you kind of what I do when it does that. Uh, let me get some scraps out. Uh, let's see. Yeah. See if I have some scraps in here. Oh, there's some vellum. Big enough, you know. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if those will work, but you'll get the idea here in a second. Um, I might have to go get some of my bigger pieces. Okay, so now let's flip it and I'm going to do I'm going to do another larger pocket. I'm just going to show you one and then I'll show you what I you know, kind of how I help those larger I think I'm going to go 3 on this. Let me test it. 
Yeah. All right. Let me take off just a smidgey. That one's too little. Um, scratch paper. And uh, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to use a small one here. Kind of go in the middle. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Where's my pink? Let's see if I can, let's try some pink. Here is Tattered Rose. Very appropriate. Ugh, you can see I, I don't know, I used something I wasn't supposed to. Oh, this is very, I distress the oxide, so it's very opaque. Yeah, it was a, it's very pretty though. Might take a minute to dry. Okay. <laughs> Excuse the reach, but let's see if I can clean my pink brush. Is that pink? No. Nope. I don't know what color it is. Oh, that's not drying very fast, so let's kind of help it smash it in there a little bit. But I don't know why I thought I brought another pink over. I'm going to keep that one out, though, because that's good to have. Uh, weird. I thought I got a pink out of my stash. Oh, well, it's probably sitting right in front of me. Okay, well, we have a little bit of pink, but I am going to edge a little bit in black, too. All right. How much of a craft can we make out of this? <laughs> we'll get every, everything out. Okay, now I am going to leave this one a onesie. You know, big, because it's going to have larger ones in it. I don't want to go down the center and break it up. Oops. All right. <clears throat> then what I like to do is put that down. Okay. Is I like to take tissue or uh, deli paper. I use this one, and I like to put it over it. So, I'll get my pencil out again. Just as kind of like a little protection, you know. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this down about three quarters of an inch. That's just an estimate. Not a lot, but enough to secure it to the page. And then I'm going to just glue it. And then I could put some washi over it if I want to, which I might because this one has a little tear in it. Or I might just put some more paper over it, which would be pretty. And this is just, a, as you can see, it's folded. It's I think I was making an envelope out of it or something. So I'm lifting, I'm leaving it up high enough to put something tall in it. 
you know, pretty tall. Okay, let's get a piece of um, get a piece of this. These are all, you know, also the freebies. You've seen them. If you if you haven't, go to my YouTube and um, look at last last week and there'll be one that says freebies it's the first time you see freebies in february on my channel and um then you'll see i do kind of a little bit of a walk through of them okay I'm sitting here with my mouth wide open, just trying to breathe. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but when I have these allergies, <clears throat> I tend to keep my mouth open while I breathe. <laughs> I'm trying to get that to the edge. Okay, very good. Now, try to get as much of that glue off my hands as possible. Okay, now let's put these guys in. This is a really good technique to use if you have, one, tall things, or really fragile things, like if you've cut out butterflies or little things like that. So now, I mean, we can put more than just these two in here, but this just shows you. So then those are kind of protected a little bit. Let me see if I have another one that I've done like that to kind of give you an idea. My stamps. Um, this might not be a good one. We're going to do the this too. Oh. <laughs> I probably didn't even know that was a page. Okay. That's oh well here I've just done the envelope. That's nice. That's to keep all of these stamps. Keep them in there. Behaving. Let's look at this one and see if I've done it in here. I need to print more of these plain labels but here's some tinies this is another thing that i was talking about you know having a place for little ones little tiny things here's here's an example now this what is this i don't know what that is probably something i'm not going to use it's very slick I may have gotten that at a sale or something but you can see I have tiny stuff in here and I've made little flaps for them. And what happened was on this one, I made this and then it was not enough to keep these guys contained. So I ended up putting flaps on those guys. They've behaved ever since. And here's some little, so this one I could make a, I could go through here just to kind of help put a little pressure on it. Um, but these will probably move over to the junk journal studio. Here's one I made for long ones. This is where I just take, you know, my my tear offs and I and I um uh oh there we go it was stuck and I stamp them. I like to keep them to where I can see them. So okay, so that kind of gives you an idea on you know what to what to do if you're having a hard time. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't reach my thing. If you're having kind of a hard time keeping things nice and and, and uh, flat, you know, so you could do that. Okay, well, I, I like it. I like how it's going. Where's that one that we did and I was, let's put it over here. One of these two over here. 
How about that one? Yeah. And maybe we'll notch this out just a little bit. We'll put it down and then we've got a few pages done. So that's awesome. I'm I'm will probably fill it as I go um as I work on my cottage shabby chic journal which I'm very eager to get started. I've I I'm wanting to make ephemera for a while and then put the put it uh, put it together as a journal, you know, but, um, yeah, I'm wanting to do some play. I'm also working on my groovy journal and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to really get going on that. So lots coming up. Of course, you know, I always have something in the background too. I still have my lace and fabric journal I work on. Oopsie. I have, I'm wanting to do that, I've been saying this probably a, a year, I've been wanting to do my um, mushroom journal, I don't want that too thick, okay, yuck, okay, <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to go over just a little bit, so I'm going to have to do something about that because see here it's coming over that way I think what I'm going to do is just take that glue off and leave it so that way it can still be used all the way to the edge I don't want to glue it down although I could put some washi here in a little bit okay so let's take a look all right, so here's our folio, our little ephemera holder for the Junk Journal Studios. And I haven't decided what to do here or here yet, but we flip it over and we have some big pockets, some deep pockets for, you know, larger things. And we have some not so deep pockets. And then these have some middle ground. That can go in here. Where's the littles? Wait, oh, here they are. They made their ways way to the bottom. I use so many of my cuts, my little things for the journal cover that I need to reprint and cut some more. It's so fun to collage, you know it? over here oh that could go down one it's gonna poke up well thanks everyone for hanging out with me and and sticking with me through this the junk journal ephemera holder hope you've enjoyed it hope you're making one and looking at things a little different on how you um use them like the file folders and and envelopes that we made the cover out of so yeah so enjoy making you one and don't forget to get the freebies you can only download them um through the 29th of february 2024 um so yeah and don't forget also the junk journal studio has their entire shop on sale right now um until the 29th as well so you too can make you a folio all right, everyone, just a reminder, we, play, we pray blessings over you, and we want you to know you're so loved. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.